All right, so we're talking hunting loads, and earlier today we talked about the 22 Hornet, which I like quite a bit. Today we're going to talk about a real barn burner of a 22 caliber hunting cartridge, and that's the 22 250. All right, um, I, I I want to like the 22 250, um, just because of the insanely high velocities on it. I'm, I'm not 100 percent positive on barrel weight or, or barrel life. But you know what? I know plenty of people that deer hunt with the 22 250. Uh, I know a couple, and uh, it, it does the job quite quite well. But it, I mean, it's really suited for small game at long ranges. Basically, you you take your 556 five, and you feed it a whole bunch of anabolics, but it doesn't get bigger; it just gets faster. Um, that's basically what it is, because you're talking about roughly the same bullet weight, 40 to 65 grains. Um, it's I had the 22 250 has been a military cartridge <gasps> but i not heard of it yeah well the british sas don't talk very much but they did use 22 250 the cartridge in tika m55 rifles during the troubles for an urban counterterrorism rifle because i'll tell you what that 22 250 is going so fast that bullet in soft human tissue would have the effects on that bullet and the associating tissue of course would be absolutely dramatic to say the least. Um, so bullet weights 40 to 65 grains. Uh, I see a 40 grain at 4,224 feet per second. 4,000 feet per second. That that is insane. Um, you're talking because of that. That little 40 grain bullet is generating 1,585 pound feet of energy. Uh, you step up to a 50 grain. You lose a lot of velocity because now you go down from that 42.24 to 39.45, but you gain energy because now you just went up to 17.28. A uh, 55 grain bullet lose more velocity again to 37.86, go up to 17.51 for energy. Uh, the 60 grain at 35.80 is pushing 17.08 for energy, and the 64 grain 30 at 3500 is hitting 17.41. So if you're if you're really looking for energy, then your best bet with the 22 250 is going to be that 50 grain loading, and the I, I can't stress enough that's still pushing 4,000 feet per second, and I cannot stress enough what the effects on the anatomy of a mammal, whether that be a deer, an elk, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't want to go after an elk or one. It's a little big, but like a deer or even a, a person that means to do bad things to you, and all you have is you your long range fucking pronghorn rifle. That would the effects on the body would be absolutely dramatic because of that. Twenty two two fifty, very solid cartridge choice.